appeared out of a wallwalker from across the base? No. <laughs> oh my God, Klaus never ceases to amaze us. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash of Air. Guys, we are live with the Queen Walkers today in Fire Fuego 5v5s. We've got on the other side here, Zepto, which I don't know who's attacking right now. I can't see him. Maybe you guys can, but I don't know. I don't see nothing here. All I see is troops on a bar down at the bottom, and I see <laughs> the, the buildings disappearing on the base. So whatever. <laughs> An invisible attacker works his way to the base here with a queen charge rocket balloon attack. On the left side of the base here, the queen taking out the scatter has three more super wall breakers and a jump spell. The king and the warden with a log launcher are going to deploy over the left side as well. The log launcher going to give the queen access all the way across the base here, specifically opening up access to the multi inferno in the middle of the base and all the way across to the town hall. Lots of incoming damage here on the Queen. Rage is up at the last possible second there. Very, very close, right in line there with that uh, Rage. But the Headhunters are all taken out by the Logs and the Log Launcher. And he'll continue to work his way across the base. So Road Champion did get ahead of the King and the Warden there. And he didn't pop the Warden ability, so he lost his Road Champion to the enemy Queen. A bit of a mistake there. And the King and the Warden will continue all the way through. The jump comes down to protect or to give access for the king, and uh, the ward ability protects the barbarians that were generated there. They almost took out that multi-inferno before the Scattershot hit him. But that multi-inferno stays standing, the king struggling over on this right side. Continues on with the ward, but that multi-inferno beating down on him heavily here. The log launcher did give the queen access to the town hall here, and she should be able to go pick it up. I'd love to see that ward just reach over there and get a pop shot at that uh, inferno and finish it off. We should round the corner here to the town hall next, but no! No! Queen! Are you joking? Where are you going? You had access to the town hall and you beat through a wall? What? All right, well, Rocket Blue's coming along the bottom of the base here. But the queen has to go all the way back to the town hall, and now she doesn't have access to it from the compartment she's standing in. He'll freeze up and send the rocket boost to the town hall, trying to salvage it. He's got another freeze. He's going to have to burn it on the town hall. Also taking some of the damage off of the queen. She'll pop her ability. He'll get the town hall down. Crisis averted there. Now he can wall break the queen. If he gets it before that cannon goes down, wall break, wall break, wall break. No, he doesn't get the wall break in time. He has the wall breakers, but he didn't use them. But he got the queen out of the compartment. Wall breaks now, but a little bit too late to let the queen out of the compartment she's in. That's going to cost him some time. Wall breaks again. This one, <laughs> not going anywhere useful. All right, queen. Our invisible attacker is going to fall short. It is close here, but I think the Royal Champion surging out ahead there without the ward ability protecting her. Maybe the Royal Champion was delayed a little bit there and then Nice adjustment to pick up the Town Hall. A scary moment here, but an opening two-star for Zepto. Here we go. Stadra. Live. Kicking us off for the Queen Walkers with this tried and true trusty P.E.K.K.A. Smash. Looks like the Warden Walk is going to take out the Scattershot here. And he's got a Log Launcher to go through the other Scattershot and pick up that Eagle Artillery. Now he could just go with the Log Launcher through the Archer Tower in the air defense here. And they could get the King to go in with the punch into the Eagle Artillery here. And he will start to wall break and make that approach. Seems like the approach that is gonna give him the best access to go all the way to the base here to the Town Hall. Now the jump can give him access to the Multi-Inferno over on the right side, but he needs to be mindful that that uh, Multi-Inferno can cause some uh, damage to him as he passes through the middle of the base. And so he needs to make sure he has enough punch on the right side to be able to deal with that. But uh, Rage comes down to help the Warden get through the scatter shot. The Queen will pull the Warden to the bottom side there. One healer delayed and deploys onto the Queen directly. The queen will work her way across and... I hear Witch is starting. Aim for the bottom side. 
Pekka's are joining in. Golem down. Log Launcher going through the Scattershot compartment like I figured he probably would be entering through. Now the wall from that super wall breaker is letting the troops go in to the Eagle Artillery compartment. So he's not going to have a lot going into the middle of the base here to continue on to the town hall. So we need to be very, very, very careful. The Log Launcher taking it bit of extra damage here will almost take out the multi inferno up ahead the ward ability protecting the yetis that came out and the rest of the troops there as they go to the right they will beat to the walls there it needs to get the troops to attack the right wall but they're attacking to leave the base this is a big problem here for sadra we got the healers in the middle of the base they're still working but where is his queen his queen has her ability i see she's over on the right side uh oh he's in a lot of trouble here is he going to one star? Can he recover this? Everything is walked on him there. That second wall break was a big mistake. That second wall break to let the things into the Eagle Artillery compartment is causing everything to walk on him here. He lost all the healers. He's got a lot of spell support here. He has a single inferno blocking his access to the town hall. One healer is all that remains. So rage up. Freeze the town hall, but doesn't freeze up the single. King pops his abilities. He jumps back into the base here. Gets the town hall down. Crisis averted there. Tag teams enemy road champion. Witches step in. There's the RC ability. Pops it. Takes out uh, one defense there. Gets a little bit of damage on the expo. The queen steps through. Frees up the Tesla by itself. Can the weak queen finish this? She's not going to have time, even if she could. But she wouldn't either way. It is going to be crisis averted there. Doesn't get... A one star, luckily able to pull that back and, and save that, but uh, 93% compared to 89% and the Queen Walkers will start in the lead. Here we go. Stefan is live. We got ourselves a three healer Queen Charge Lalo with a blimp. Three healers. Interesting. And it gives you that. No, it's not a queen charge. It's a, it's a, what? Stefan doing a three healer warden walk into Blizzard Lalo? I assume he's gonna warden walk and then send the blimp with the ward ability protecting it potentially. This is warden that's gonna go for days and then I don't know what he's doing. Honestly, I have no idea and I'm really curious to see if this works. <laughs> Maybe he just realizes he's, he's facing the Queen Walkers and needs to find an excuse to steal a thumbnail attack. <laughs> but he joins with the Queen and the King. A Steam Goblin down the line, but the King's walking on him. Wizard and Road Champion coming all the way down the line there. Queen will continue on to get the Eagle Artillery. The King wrapping around the base. Keeps on trying to cut off his pathing, but... The King keeps on walking. There's nothing he can really do about it. The Blimp sails in over the hero's head. Ooh, there's the ward ability. Protect it. It's going to go land on top of the CC, and we expect a blizzard to come out of there. Whole bunch of traps going off all across the middle of the base there. The blimp is still okay, though. Okay. Makes it invisible on the drop. Rage it up. Gonna get this town hall down. He absolutely has to get this town hall down. Super wizards are on it. Looking good. The king wrapped all the way around the base there. He definitely wanted that king to go in and take the jump, but the queen find out the hound. He can get his queen ability to take out the enemy Roar Champion and get that multi-inferno down. And now, with the healer still alive, with the queen still alive, with her ability, and the warden still alive, they will have free reign over this right side of the base. And he can just Lalo through the queen and get that multi-inferno down. I'm surprised he's coming in with the Lalo down at the bottom side of the base there at all. He should be coming in from the left side, I feel like. But he has... Three headhunters that he can use to go after the enemy queen right now. And as long as they don't die to traps here, they should be in a pretty good spot. The the hounds go in defense to defense right now, and time is becoming increasingly an issue here. Loses the warden. Oh, red bombs going off here. Does get the enemy queen down. The headhunters will go to clean up. Queen still picking up clean up along the backside, but only 24 seconds left to go here. Last spells down. The hounds are out in front there, tanky, but this multi inferno is going to do a lot of damage here. He's not getting direct pathing into it. The queen is breaking the wall. She's going to step in, but does he have the time to finish it? Only 12 seconds left. 
Ground Skelly stalling him up. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a time fail. What an attack. But not fast enough. 96%. Where's Stefan? Gaku. Coming in for the Queen Walkers. With 10 Lightning, 2 Quakes, and a Hydra attack here. Gonna zap out the multi inferno in the middle of the base there. Going for the single inferno and air defense up on the top side of the base here. That means the dragons are gonna have to move through with zero spell support other than one freeze. He starts in a baby dragon and a giant up top. Giant just tanking for the queen for just a little bit while she starts. And then the lightning and the baby dragon forming the funnel to push the queen towards the eagle artillery. Ice Gloom comes down. King comes in down the line. Gonna go in after the Roar Champion here. And the Roar Champion will cut the king off by taking out that mortar. That'll funnel the king into the base there. All three heroes coming in separately from each other. As that blimp. And honestly, I think he... Since there's no sweepers, he's gonna come in from the bottom with the dragons. And then he'll have to have the blimp cross the base and go get the town hall down. But he sends in a couple rocket blooms and he sends in the blimp early after the rocket blooms take out that backside air defense. And he will get the town hall down nice and early to secure that second star. The goblins come out of there and the CC is fully pulled and the heroes die out. Now, he's gonna have to finish off the rest of the base here with the dragons, which is very, very unorthodox for dragon attacks without bats. And he's gonna have a Long push here. He needs to hold on to the ward ability until he gets into this enemy queen. He has the freeze. He can lock up the queen and the scatter shot together. Might want to, but wait for the queen to actually be taking or putting damage onto his dragons here. He needs to be very, very, very careful around that enemy queen here. He needs to invest the spell support, but he invests the ward and that'll that'll do. That'll do, Gaku. The minions working in the corner there. One more dragon rider pops in the back side of the base here. Looking good. Plenty of time left. Lots of dragons. And I think Gaku's got it here. Zapping out two Infernos. Suing the heroes for like half the base. Rock of Bloons taking out more air defenses and clearing out the path for the blimp. Did the trick here and Gaku has ripped this base to shreds. Thinking outside of the box here and coming in with a full scale Zap Dragon. And that's something that we don't see very often and I... I'm surprised that was so effective. That was actually incredible here for Gaku. Clean. Very, very clean. And off meta. Let's go. Buxworst is live. Here we go. Got ourselves a Blizzard Dragon attack here. Or Hydra attack. Makes the air defense invisible, so the Hound goes to the air defense on the other side of the town hall. That clears the way there. The Hound pops, clears most of the traps. And we find the tornado trap up on the top side. Get that clear out of the way early. And these blizzard super wizards are going to rip through this town hall area. Doesn't get the air defense off of the chains though. Which is a little bit of a missed opportunity. But able to clear everything of significance that he needed out of the area. Did leave the inferno up and didn't even damage it. He wanted that inferno. I assume he wanted that inferno. Not necessarily though. Let's get knocked back with the sweeper, so he didn't get the optimal angle. I think he wanted to actually land on the other side of the wall there and get the Queen and the Inferno down. So that's a little bit of an issue if that's what he is intending to get. And it would have been good value had he got it. But now that's the Inferno and the Queen will stay standing. And we'll see what he can do from here. Also, if he could have actually landed on the side of the wall there, then the chains off of the CC would have actually destroyed the sweeper. So, I mean, <laughs> I definitely feel like he wanted that blimp to land on the other side of the wall, but the blimp knocked it to the left side of that wall. And we'll see if he can uh, still make it through here. But the King of the Queen working on the outside of the base there, trying to keep the dragon centered. The enemy road champion on the top side of the base there needs to be dealt with so that his road champion can sweep the back side. And I like that the dragons up top, even though they're dying out, are able to get at least one of those grand expos down so that damage won't be on his road champion when she sweeps around. Everything here needs to be centered around ensuring that the royal champion can pick up the value on the backside and stay protected as she works her way through. She starts in the middle of the base there to go after the multi-inferno. Then we have our champions out of the way. She breaks north and she'll go to the air defense and take that out there. She has her ability. She'll pop it right there. 
Ooh, doesn't get their defense. Ooh, oh, okay, okay. She's in trouble. No, he did not. He, she kind of got dumped into the crossfire of all the defenses at once and quickly goes down. And this one is not going to go through, guys. It's going to be a defense. That's an opportunity for the Queen Walkers to pull ahead a little bit more. The stars can triple on the next attack. Their defense is going to rip him up. He still has a queen ability, so he'll still get the percentage a little bit higher. The queen's stuck behind a wall right now while everything else gets shot down by the air defense. Really needed the Royal Champion to pick up the air defense there with their ability, and unfortunately, she didn't get the pathing into it. The multi inferno stay standing was a little bit of an issue, but I don't know that it was worth putting the Royal Champion right there at that time without proper support to go into the top corner of the base. And like I said, everything in this attack here is so hyper focused on ensuring that the Royal Champion can clear the backside, at least the way I see it. Because every time this attack is successful, it's because the Royal Champion is able to have a free path to pick up a lot on the backside. So Zepto, all ensure this one. The stars can bring a triple next. Stars is live, here we go. Stars coming in with a Blizzard Lalo that he, wow. <laughs> Did you see the triple black mind that went to that the hound? Holy traps in this compartment. Can he get the value he's looking for here? Nice placement on that initial invisibility. Now we can start to place a little bit more south. It's a bomb tower. Gets that MERC. Another giant bomb goes off. The super is still alive. Or at least one of them is. <laughs> it takes out the majority of the CC. All right, all right. Did not get everything that he's looking for there, but still picked up a lot, and he cleared up a huge amount of traps there. Sends in one balloon to go finish off that cannon. And a couple of archers chipping away at the bottom of the base here. Save time here. I like the use of a couple stray archers just to go and pick off everything that is free. It's a really, really cheap way if you got the time for them to work. But nicely done so far. The queen getting ready to go to the town hall. She will need the support of the king here because of the big Tessa farm that is beyond at the top of the town hall. But sends in an ice golem, drops in a couple blues rather than go with the king. That means he has other plans for the king and he doesn't want to be using his king this early into the attack. So that baby dragon will pick up that arch tower up there right as it goes down. He's up the expo. There is still a ward statue that's about to pick up onto the queen here, but she still has her ability, able to hold on to it all the way into the base there. This whole entry was completely trapped up, and Stars has powered through anyways. He puts the king at the bottom. That's why the archers were in down there. The king will go in after the enemy queen and try to get this enemy queen down along with the multi inferno. And it looks like he's successful in that regard. And Hall goes down to the queen. Looking good here. He's the sweeper to go down to the RC. He's working her way that direction. The sweeper continues to knock him back. The haste trying to negate that a little bit there while he does power through, but the RC still has her ability. There's the ward ability, but it misses a lot of the blues that are getting hit by that multi inferno in the middle, but the RC is able to take it out. The blooms were getting targeted by the scatter shot, but the ward ability was protecting him against that at least. Runs to the enemy king on the backside. That's, that uh, takes out his road champion. Freeze up the wizard tower so it doesn't hit the entire pack of blues. Also catching the single inferno in that freeze as well. Bill has two freezes, has some haste, drops in a minion to still get the first shot at the topside air defense, and then drops in a balloon. The Hound crosses over, and he'll get that air defense down with the Hound alone. If the Hound pops to the air defense, the, the death damage to the Hound will ultimately kill that air defense, and it did exactly that. But time is a bigger issue now. Only a few seconds left here, but he's got to clean up. Quickly claps in the last couple of buildings here, gets the CC dancer back to the storage, and... <laughs> He's got it! Oh, baby, it's a triple on the buzzer here. Stars barely sneaks that one through. Let's go. Um, how do you say this name? Day 90? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to say this name here, but uh, these Finnish guys with their funky letters. Estadra comes in with a super. No, wait. This is not Sadra. What am I talking about? <laughs> Sadra's on defense. Don't worry about me. Super Witches with lightning to clear out this compartment next to the town hall. 
They can out that Inferno. And then the Warden Walk will quickly connect to it with the Queen Walk. Very, very fast on this initial entry. And starting the Super Witches with about 15 to 20 seconds less time used than we see normally when we do Super Witch attacks. So very, very quick on the entry. And a freeze to lock up the enemy world champion. That's uh, that may be unnecessary there. So we locked onto big boys there, but that's all right. Has to conserve spells wherever possible here to make sure that he's not only not losing troops, but he's got to make sure he has enough spells to reach the back side of the base. He hasn't deployed the blimp yet. I'm not sure what he's waiting for in that. Probably get a time it with the warden ability, I assume. But here we go. There's the blimp. Where's the warden standing? He's right in the mix. Okay, there's the ward ability. Protects the healers from black mines at the same time as protecting the blimp. So that was really nice. Almost uh, took a black mine to the healers there, but he got it right as it came out. But he does get the crash damage against the sweeper. Almost gets on the battle builder over the town hall. But sneaky goblins will come out and take the town hall down. No drama on the town hall takedown. But looking good here. Freeze up the enemy queen. That's a critical freeze there. Gets the enemy queen down. That protects the Royal Champion with tons of tanking in the air. This Royal Champion is looking really, really good. The Yak is breaking open walls, even though the King has already gone down at this point. And that gives the, the Super Witch over the right side room to work there with the Queen, or with the Royal Champion. I mean, the Royal Champion is sweeping around. Guys, they're still in this war. They're not done yet. Greenwalkers are looking really, really good in this war here, but they'll still need to triple again to be able to really put Zepto on the ropes here. If Zepto triples here and Klaus misses on his attack, then there's a one-star war here and an opportunity for Zepto to make a comeback. We'll have to see what Klaus does because he's coming in next. Nice, clean Super Witch attack here. Very, very well thought out, very well executed, and very time efficient. GG. Nice hit. Klaus is live. Here we go. Klaus coming in with Blizzard Queen Charge Rocket Balloons. A very interesting off meta attack here with a wall wrecker, I want to point out. Klaus, what do you got, buddy? Show us what you're made of, buddy. Did we get it done? This is why people like to watch Klaus because he's always doing wild stuff like this. But he sends in the king. With a couple archers down at the bottom of the base there with the warden. As soon as he engages that enemy king, then he puts in the RC so that the RC isn't running into the enemy king. Also getting the enemy road champion out of the way too. His queen is to take out the enemy queen. And he's got a wall wrecker working with the royal champion and the king. And it's so weird to see the wall wrecker. We, still, we see log launchers so much lately. I always forget how fast this wall wrecker moves through the base here. And it has a lot of HP as well. So it's not only providing tanking, not draining its own HP, but it's also cruising through the base there. Gets him almost all the way to town hall. What comes out? What? <laughs> Klaus! Did you just do a... Did Klaus just do a blizzard out of a wall wrecker from across the base? No. <laughs> oh my God, Klaus. Never ceases to amaze us. That was crazy. However, his queen is struggling over on this left side. He makes her invisible. Her healers have gone down. And he'll continue to push his way through. But I am shocked that he had a blizzard inside of a wall wrecker. Who does that? Not only did he get the access. But now he's sending in a dragon rider in from the right side. He's got the cleanup down. The Dragon Biter will work its way through the test farm here. He's got a lot of rocket balloons. He get the rocket balloons to quickly take this air defense down and keep the Dragon Biter safe. If he gets this Inferno down, he's still got this. He's got multiple freezes, but he will be potentially fighting a sweeper here if I can click on it. If we can make it through, guys. All right. He's only got seven rocket balloons, so he needs to be perfectly efficient on his spells. Dragon Biter going to clear out a couple Teslas. Here we go. Bloom comes down first to tank the air defense. Give him a little bit of time to work. Quickly work his way into the air defense here. Get all of these air defenses and he freezes up the expo. Okay, okay. Black mines are clear. Dragon Rider is clear for landing. Down to just a Dragon Rider. There's the freeze. The sweeper will be knocking it back, but the air skellies are pinging away at it. Ladies and gentlemen, 
It was an absolutely wild attack here from Klaus, but with the Queen's healers going down, it is going to be a miss. And that means the Zepto's still in this war. If they triple, if they triple after Klaus's miss, who honestly had a crazy, crazy attack there, probably would have tripled had he been able to keep the Queen's healers alive. Zepto is still in this. And they have a path to victory now. So, Rico is live. If he triples, Zepto has a chance. Rico, I would say, is the star player here. A very creative attacker in his own right. We've seen him play before. We actually played against Rico's one-man team in the W or the HWT tournament. Me and Ake, we did. If you saw that mixed town hall breakdown video that we had the other day. I think I labeled that as a Town Hall 11 video with a crazy Town Hall 11 base. If you didn't check that one out there, you can see Rico in action going against me and uh, Aqui in a 1v1 or 5v5 where 2v1, whatever it was. <laughs> we were playing every Town Hall level. Those uh, tournaments are a lot of fun. I highly recommend you come and join us for some of those. They've been an absolute blast. But Rico coming in with these P.E.K.K.A. Smash attacks is going to try to go in up opposite the town hall, I assume. But this Eagle Artillery compartment is very, very big. And that could present some problems here for the pathing. Because a lot of the troops here will travel through the Eagle Artillery compartment. And then it'll be hard to get them to take the turn and go south through the wall wrecker opening. Or log launcher opening, I should say. No wall records in this one. It's not Klaus. <laughs> but the king comes in up the line there with the witches. The Pekka start. Has not deployed the log launcher yet as he wraps around that compartment. Queen's under fire the expo that she can't reach. And the sweeper will knock the balloons and the healers back. But the balloons are staying right in front of the healers there roughly. And they're going to soak up some black mines. The wizard step in. He did a super wall breaker entry in the base here. He has not deployed his... No, he, he did deploy his log launcher. Okay, it's coming in. At a topside angle, which will open up the core of the base, but I feel like a lot of the Pekkas are going to stay over the right side. The Queen is stuck on the Hound, though. She will follow the Log Launcher. Or Champion will come in as well. Everything else is going to the outside over on the right side. Bit of an issue. Eddies will come out in front of the Queen. The Queen doesn't have the healers. The healers are over with the King as he completely left the base. He'll, he'll punch his way back in and go get the scatter shot down. With the war on the line here, this is not looking the best. Yeti might ultimately die out there before getting out the damage onto the single inferno, but he'll freeze up the single inferno and give his queen access to take out that single inferno as the king continues along with the Pekkas. The Pekkas still have good HP. The healers is still on. There's only one healer left, but most of the heavy damage has been relieved. If he rages up and gets the king and the Pekkas to go through this compartment and survive the town hall, he's in a pretty good spot here. A time. Oh, no, I don't think it's time. He freezes up. Pops his king ability. And the path in issue that I predicted from the start there ultimately is going to be the death of Zepto in this war here. Guys, we got one more attack to go. It's not 100% over here. If something goes wrong with Yu's attack, then maybe we see a one star. But right now... Queenwalkers control the war, and they're massively advantaged. Yuda coming in to close it out. Here we go. Final attack of the war. Queen charged Lalo. Starting near the town hall, but generally when we start near the town hall, we're not actually charging the town hall directly. But in this case, he seems to be aiming at the town hall. We want to risk a one star here. When all they need is a two-star to win the war. But we'll see if this plan is good enough. He's actually not going to enter the Town Hall compartment by the looks of it. That ground expo will continue to chip away at the Queen. But the Queen is going around the Town Hall. I wonder if she still tries to wall break into it or if he just keeps on walking. The expo's being away at his Queen, though. Put a lot of damage on her. As soon as he takes out the Battle Builder, he can wall break into the Collector here. And then he can go into the Multi-Inferno compartment. The King comes in down the line. 
perfectly timed wall breaker there enters into the base here if he maintain the tanking of that expo on the queen the healers will not be in danger and he barely does very nicely done the king finding a couple tests on the outside of the base here Get that balloon to turn back and go inside he puts in another balloon rages up his queen a lot of damage income on his queen here from the grand warden statue he frees up the enemy world champion to release some of that damage and was able to save his queen ability at the multi inferno down Freeze and hey, or freeze and poison. I mean, as he fights out the CC, but his heal is taking heavy damage there from red bombs. So they're in a little bit of a dangerous spot now. Visible for the time being, but keeping out for more red bombs in that compartment. He already hit a lot of them, and a lot more could be waiting there. We see a lot of people pack up six red bombs to take out the healers, but he's got the 50% here. This sneaky goblins take the town hall. There goes another pocket of red bombs there. All of the queen's healers go down before she gets the scatter shot down. And that trap was trolled. And he is unable to protect the queen's healers. The haste will carry him into the scatter shot. He's struggling to get to this enemy king, which is blocking the headhunter access to the queen. Crosses now, but the headhunters get struck by the scatter shot, freezes up, and his world champion does take it down. But with his queen going down and the side path that the balloons had to take to go into that area where the queen is supposed to handle, he's not going to make it through. But it is enough for the win. GG's. The queen walkers will win this round of Fire, Fiera, Fuego, 5v5, whatever it is. Lots of fire, lots of flame, and a hot war. <laughs> a hot mess of a war, I should say, too. Uh, <laughs> all right. There we go. Warden. Moving a little bit further through the base here, but that's where we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. Thank you so much for coming out and joining us. I hope you enjoyed that. Absolutely were some wild attacks during this war here. Klaus, I believe, earned the thumbnail, even though he missed. So uh, that's why you saw him there. Crazy, crazy unique and new techniques, which is what we're looking for there. Even if they don't ultimately go through, is really, really impressive. And uh, 12 to 11 victory here for the Queen Walkers. We'll be able to carry them into the next round. All right, guys. Take it easy. We'll see you in the next one. It is a gift to me that you guys come and hang out with me every single day. That's that's the gift that keeps on giving. You guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was, that was so cringe. That was so cringe. <laughs> you guys. You nerds. You nerds. <laughs>